What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to episode 114 of Hashtag Nisto Drinks. And on this week's episode, we are trying Fentiman's Rose Lemonade. <laughs> Happy Hashtag Thirsty Thursday to the Beverage Barrage, to the foodies, to the good guys and gals of the Nisto Bros podcast. We are here with a new episode of Hashtag Nisto Drinks. Just cracked open this Fentimins, not Entimins, no baked treats here. Um, rose Lemonade, a traditional botanical beverage with pure rose extract. So this isn't rosé. It's like actual rose, like the flower. This was recommended and then bought with um, my very, very dear friend, Agnes. So shout out to her um, for this episode. Cool bottle says botanically brewed on the thing. Fentiman's established in 1905, never heard of them, but that's a pretty uh, pretty long-standing company. Um, looked at the ingredients before, it looks pretty interesting to me. Um, so I am excited to try this out. Here we go. Okay, so. One thing right off the bat is that this is um, a carbonated beverage. I don't know if you heard it when I cracked off the, the top here and I'm dropping the top, um, is it is uh, carbonated. So the, the first ingredient is carbonated water. It's not just regular like lemonade um, that's just flat. So there is that kind of essence to it. And I will say that there isn't like a it's more of a fermented lemon taste. Um, I got kind of a, like a very, very light fermentation, not like to the point of like kombucha or anything like that, but there is kind of that essence of, of earthiness to it um, that you get from uh, fermentation and it creates that kind of natural sourness more than like um, the sourness from a lemon itself. Um, I do like the combination but I think, I think I was expecting a little bit more like traditional lemonade. Um, but I think maybe I'm going to adjust, adjust my expectations a little bit for this next sip. It does say it's a traditional botanical beverage. You know, it's just kind of the lemon is the other portion to the, to supplement the, all the botanical stuff going on. Another, um, another big thing, and I'm, you know, referencing the ingredient list a little bit here. Um, one of the top ingredients is, where was it? it? Was ginger root extract. And I do think that that is also playing a little bit of a role. I'm getting like a slight, like it's just like a very interesting mixture of all different kind of beverages that I wouldn't think. So there's like that kind of hint of fermentation from the kombucha, like I said, you know, a little tartness it reminds me of lemonade but not super much but the thing i was gonna say on that sip specifically i got um kind of like a ginger ale or a ginger beer vibe because of that ginger root extract um that's adding to it and it's just kind of this um melding of all of those types of flavors together maybe the kombucha flavor that i was maybe thinking of was like a ginger lemon kombucha that's a very popular one so i think this is kind of like an in-between drink you know it's not um your typical like super super sugary lemonade but it's not a bitter bitter fermented kombucha taste that has you know it, that you really have to get used to like you could definitely pick this up and still really enjoy it um if you're looking for something again more in the middle um only 19 grams of added sugars so it's not too sweet or anything like that but it's it's enough to cut through um some of the other bitter more bitter and and sour flavors you see overall like i feel like every sip is giving me like a little bit more of something different and that's always a fun thing it's only nine ounces so i'm gonna crush this pretty easily i'm liking it but i could i could see myself getting it in like kind of um only very specific uses like i feel like a lot of times now this is not for everyone obviously i feel like I've gotten to the point, you know, I've documented somewhat on Nisto Drinks, my kombucha journey, not really liking it, liking it more and, you know, not being pretty fond of it. Um, I feel like this is kind of like a good in-between. You definitely, definitely get those garden-esque vibes, I guess. Like, you know, it, it does say it's botanically brewed. There's a lot of different, you know, kind of roots and things involved um, making it. And you can definitely tell that there's that earthiness to it. 
um, not necessarily rose. Like, you know, I was kind of thinking the smell of a rose. So I feel like maybe my, my big gripe, because I really do enjoy the beverage, is just like when I hear rose lemonade, I was expecting kind of the smell of a rose and then like the tartness of the lemonade. And I got something that kind of touched on those, but it was really more an amalgamation of many other things. Um, and I still really enjoyed it, but hitting on rose lemonade, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think that being said for the Fentiman's rose lemonade, I'm going to give it a 7.6. I really, um, did enjoy it and think it serves a good purpose as kind of that middle ground. Um, and could definitely see myself drinking a couple more of these in the near future. Um, and that's all I got for this week's episode. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share it out to all your friends. Check out the link in our description to check out the merch store, or there's also a link in the bio of our Instagram. And as always, use code Nisto Ships for free shipping. That's all I got. Oh, I gotta pop the lid. And that's all I got. Peace, love, sip.